Mua MP Syed Sadi Abdul Rahman was on Thursday sentenced to seven years jail in two strokes of the cane and fined RM 10 million 2.9 million Singapore dollars after he was found guilty on all charges of abetting in criminal breach of trust, misappropriation of funds, and money laundering. The 30 year old lawmaker from a youth centric party is the first politician to face a whipping sentence for corruption confirmed Deputy Public Prosecutor, one Shaharadin, one Leading. Adding that the punishment applies to male offenders under 50 years old. Following the verdict, the former youth and sports minister said he would step down as president of the Malaysian United Democratic Alliance Muda, but remain as an MP while appealing his case. Muda in September pulled support from Prime Minister Enwar Ibrahim's Pakatan Harapan coalition after the prosecution dropped corruption charges against Deputy Prime Minister Sohit Hamidi. At a press conference, after meeting the party leadership, Syed Sadiq said, Muda is bigger than me, Syed Sadiq, the institution of presidency, is such an important role where the threshold is very high. While I appeal against the conviction, I don't deserve that role and I need to clear my name in the court of law, he said. I owe the duty not only to the public, but also to the party members and leaders. He said, adding, it is important to send a clear message that Malaysians deserve better in politics, and while it may hurt me, I must walk the talk in defending this principle. Deputy President Amira Aisya will serve as acting party president, Syed Sadiq added. Speaker of Parliament Johari Abdul confirmed that the high-profile MP is not required to vacate his seat until he has exhausted all legal means to clear his name. Syed Sadiq earlier told reporters outside the court that he respected the court's ruling but will file an appeal at the Court of Appeal. He added that he is ready to face criticisms from the public following the verdict. To be the kind of leader who can do the best for the country, one must be whiter than white to realize the Malaysian dream. I will accept any criticism because I am no different from any other person in this country. Syed Sadiq embraced his parents after speaking to the press. His mother was in tears. On Thursday morning, the High Court handed out the sentence after the defence failed to cast reasonable doubt against the prosecution's case. The court allowed Syed Sadiq's application to stay the execution of his sentence pending an appeal. On March 14, the defence closed its case after calling Syed Sadiq and three other witnesses. Namely Armada Information, Chief Yulia Okama Huzimuddin, as well as Mr. Mohammed Amshar Aziz and Ms. Siti Niro Hidayah, who was Syed Sadiq's former special officer and former private secretary, respectively. Amoda is the youth wing of Syed Sadiq's former party, Part 1 Pribumi Bursatu Malaysia Bursatu, which was co-founded by Tan Dr. Mohata Mohammed and Tan Sri Mohidin Yassin. Syed Sadiq was charged with abetting Bursatu assistant Treasurer Rafiq Hakim Razali, who was entrusted with RM1 million of Armada's funds to commit criminal breach of trust by misappropriating the money. The offence was allegedly committed at the KL Central CIMB Bank branch on March 6, 2020, when the Pericata Nacional government comprising Bersetu was in power. On the second charge, Syed Sadiq was accused of misappropriating RM120, 000 from Almada Bumi Bursatu Enterprises Maybank Islamic account by making Rafiq dispose of the money. He allegedly committed the offence between April 8 and 21 in 2018. He also faced two counts of money laundering via transactions of RM50-000 each, believed to be proceeds from unlawful activities from his Maybank Islamic account into his Amana Soham Bumiputer account in a bank in Jahal Baru. On June 16 and 19 in 2018,